Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so if you are associated with the software uh, industry, you know how important testing is. Whether it's your unit testing or integration testing or your end to end testing. All right, so whenever we talk about testing, right, we we also use some kind of testing framework all right so mocha is one such feature is rich javascript test framework which runs on node and into the browser all right so in this video we are going to learn mocha and we are also going to use some other libraries through which we can write our assertions all right so they are specific libraries for specific purpose when it comes to assertion all right so if you are doing unit testing then there are certain libraries like you know simon through which you can spy your methods you can stub your methods you can mock your methods so we are going to use that and when you are doing your end-to-end -end testing all right so there you write a lot of assertions for example you say okay this field should contain this particular text right so you fetch that value and then you are going to compare it with what you are expecting it to carry all right so then you always compare the expected result with the actual result and if they matches then you say the test is passed if they don't match you say test is failed all right so in this video series we are going to work on both the aspects both the unit as well as the end to end all right so let us see what all we have in this course all right so of course we are going to you know uh, set up the project and then we are going to run synchronous test and in mocha you have the provision to do both bdd and tdd right uh, then we are going to talk about different hooks again there are different hooks for bdd and different hooks for tdd right then we are going to talk about asynchronous test cases right because if you have been working into javascript you know that i mean this language is uh, single threaded non-blocking right and how do we achieve asynchronous nature with the help of callbacks with the help of promises and async and await right that's how we do it so if you have not uh, uh, practice that or you're not aware of all these i've already created uh, a playlist javascript tutorial for beginners uh, on my channel go and watch that out they have started from you know creating the variables and then you know i've shown how to create classes and implement those oops concept and also talked about this asynchronous thing right uh, all right so then after those asynchronous test cases we are going to talk about you know how once a test cases fail how can you reattempt that so if a test cases fail once right it could be a momentarily great glitch right so you have to repeat that test case to make sure that okay so it is consistently failing all right so then the next is timeout so because this is asynchronous right we make ajax call or let's say if you're a tester you're testing the apis right so you hit the api and then you're waiting for the response right so what happens in mocha the test cases are executed serially uh, right so if a test case is taking longer that is going to slow down your overall process right so it is going to slow down your overall test execution so what you can do is or it may happen that you never get the result back right so then what are you going to do so in that case what we do is we set a predefined timeout and if we if a test case is executed within the timeline uh, then it's great if not then we time out that particular test case and then mocha resume with the following test case all right that's a concept of a timeout uh, assertions are very important right because that's where you compare expected with actual all right so we are going to see uh, use chai assertions all right and there also we have uh, you know both bdd and tdd version so bdd is behavior driven development and tdd is test driven development all right uh, then we are going to talk about the unit testing and then we'll see uh, spy stub and mock with the help of synon library all right uh, then of course we are going to check this these days it is very important everybody is running things on ci cd pipeline right so does mocha support command line yes it does so we are going to see those and at the end you know whenever you are done with your test cases you have to present a report right so we are going to generate uh, the mocha awesome report this is one of the best report available of uh, in support of mocha all right that's the uh, content of uh, 
this course so uh, hope you are excited i'll see you in the next video thank you